Hello and welcome to my next build video here. Uh, just showing off my build, my second one. This is my so-called uh, face roll build. It's usually the Hunter's Fury set. Uh, you can use it four pieces or three pieces. I use four because I like the buffs that it gives me for the four pieces. This is uh, enemies within 50 minutes receive a debuff, amplifying your weapon damage against them by 20%. So that's 20% amplified damage here. Killing a debuffed enemy with your weapon disorients other enemies within 5 meter and amplifies weapon damage by another 5% for 10 seconds. And it stacks up by 5%. So it's another 25% uh, that you gain here for amplified. That makes it in total 45% weapon damage. And that's what's making that set so good on four pieces. If you run this solo, it's easier to get the stacks, obviously, because you can kill all the enemies. It doesn't work in the group as much as it is on a solo play. So this is basically for, better for solo play than anything else. Uh, I used Cheska here to get the crit chance because I need it for the backfire. Because the backfire is only one mod, which is a scope, uh, which gives us 5% uh, for crit chance here. And that's it. There's no other crit chance on this weapon here, unfortunately. All the others gives more. Lady Death gives 10. Chatterbox gives even more. I think it's like 15. Uh, let me check real quick. Yeah, that's 15% crit chance here on this weapon. So you could get rid of the chess car if you use the chatterbox, which is a good weapon to play this build here in solo because go close to the enemies, what you always need to do with this set. Uh, try to get close to five enemies. You get the fiber stack and this weapon shreds like crazy um, just because of fire rate. And if you can kill an enemy with, let's say, 40% uh, of your clip, you will not run out of ammo. You don't have to reload this weapon at all. So it's really cool. I like that to use it in a summit, uh, basically from level one to 50. If I play it solo or in a group uh, from one to 30, everything that goes up to like hard is really good with this weapon. It's it's so much fun to play. So Hunter's Fury, four parts, like I said, you want the mask, the gloves, the knee pads and the holster. And for backpack and here, you need high end. High end, obviously you use the Matador because it gives you bonus armor when you go close than 10 meter, which you want with this set. You want always to be the fight in like 10 meters or closer to the enemy. So face roll on them, just go go close and kill them. And it gives you 23% bonus armor for five seconds and it stacks up to three times. So if there are three enemies in your range, you get 69% bonus armor and they can't kill you. They really can kill you. You, you kill them so fast, uh, you will have bonus armor all the time. And the bonus armor from the backpack here activates the other talent for the chest, which is Intimidate. And Intimidate gives you 35% amplified weapon damage. And that is why this build here shreds so much. Uh, I think it's one of the highest DPS in the game at the moment with this set. If you play solo, uh, you can keep up the buff all the time. So for the parts here, obviously what you want is like crit damage everywhere. Weapon damage, as high as you can get it. So it's easy, you can craft them. So craft an item which has crit damage max or weapon damage max and then just reroll the other one to the max and crit damage melt all the way to it. Also for the chest, it's uh, weapon damage, crit chance, crit damage and another crit damage mod here. So use as much crit chance as you need to bring up the crit chance to basically around 55% or up to 60, um, whatever weapon you play. Uh, if it's a backfire, you need chest car. That's my choice. If I play the chatterbox as a sample, I would replace this one here with a Grupo to get more crit damage, uh, which is a really good option there. Uh, you could also use uh, Headshot Damage Providence if you have a good one. Uh, it's also a viable option, but you need to aim for the head. And I'm always more of a body shredder. So body shots, when I can hit the head, I, hit, I, I shoot at the head. If I can't, I just shred them on the body. And this is more about the body shot build here. Um, for the holster, it's the same basically, weapon damage, crit damage, for all the Hunter's Fury parts here. It's weapon damage, crit damage everywhere. Easy choice. Uh, the backpack, like I said, is the same. Crit damage, crit chance, so you can get up to the 60%. If you use another SMG, it's way easier to get the crit chance up, because you can use other mods like 5% uh, uh, here, 5, 5, so you have 15 in total, which is the same as the Chatterbox. So, these are the stats for this build here with the backfire. So I have 57.4, which is a bit too much. Uh, I like 55% is for me the sweet spot number. You don't need the 60. Believe me, everyone that says you need 60% crit chance, it's a straight lie. I tested it. It's like 
okay, you gain maybe on two clips, fall fire weapon, you gain maybe you gain two more crit shots. That's it. So why use more than 55? So it's really good here. So this is a weapon damage here for 130,000. Uh, 0.5 basically. Uh, you have 57.4 crit chance, 158% crit damage, which is good enough with this set. You gain the amplified damage from the Hunter's Fury and from the Intimidate. And these are really, really good, crazy numbers there. You can shred everything. Even on Heroic, you can play solo and you will shred them down. Like, very, very easy. Uh, total weapon damage here is 105%. Uh, we get the submachine gun here, 44.6, which is really good. The others doesn't really matter that much. I play it, um, at least for me, I play it with a gunner. I always play with the gunner. Because you gain armor from kills, so that what makes it so good. Just keep in mind that you have to spec on the gunner. Uh, you have to spec the crit dam uh, the damage for the SMG here. So always make sure with this build here, if you play any other thing here, uh, just make sure that you have activated the submachine gun on it, which I don't even have. Oh yeah, I have. Okay. So you just need the, the um, SMG damage here. This one, it's 15% submachine gun damage. Just spec this one up here. Uh, the others is just for LMG. No one uses it really anymore. Um, you don't need the sniper, you don't need the shotgun. You could use the shotgun here because I play it also often, but I mainly use it only if I run out of bullets and the SMG, which will never happen. Um, because most of the missions have an ammo box like everywhere. You should not run out of ammo here. Also from the gunner, um, that's why I use it. You can have so many benefits from the gunner. I, sh I think I should not explain that. Um, everyone can have a look at this same. You gain bonus armor, fire rate, you get ammo for, for shooting enemies, so you will never run out of ammo. The shotgun is for me just an option which I use when there's maybe there's a door that you know that it will open and the enemies comes out of it. Just stand in front of it, use the any shotgun basically, which has a high number here for the damage. Put pummel on it and three consecutive kills refills, refills the magazine and grants 40% weapon damage on top again. So. Just stand in, in front of the door and the door will open and you shred them like pop, pop, pop. You have three kills. The magazine is also like the chatterbox then. Uh, it will always refill itself if you have three kills. And one shot, they all die. They all die. Everything dies with one shot. Uh, and aim for the head then if you know that the enemy is spawned in one place. And this is my, yeah, my face roll build. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, if so, leave a comment if you have may maybe something that I can do better here. I don't think so. But I hope you enjoy it and see you on the next video. Bye bye.